Olá, esta é a trilha de rádio do Set Experience Academy no módulo Rádio Digital DRM. Neste segmento, Toxandra Obreja irá apresentar o status do desenvolvimento da tecnologia no mundo e da indústria de receptores. Toxandra. I will just uh, concentrate on what we think are key uh, DRM countries. Uh, so I uh, will give you a very quick tour of these countries. Uh, you heard about India, so uh, I won't uh, insist on it. Our trial finished this spring and uh, we are still awaiting a decision of the Indian government uh, to extend the DRM to the FN band. Uh, China is using uh, DRM for shortwave and they have a project. Uh, this is very important, shortwave for domestic coverage. Exactly like Brazil, a huge country needing to reach uh, populations in various uh, um, and interesting and difficult environments. Russia also uses and is behind DRM. Uh, interesting thing here, they have uh, conducted a very, very useful DRM for FM trial in St. Petersburg. And uh, one of the findings was the wonderful uh, uh, um, functioning of DRM, but also the coverage, which was uh, over 80 kilometers. I, want, I will talk about Brazil a bit later. Indonesia has done uh, tests in all bands and uh, they have installed the first uh, DRM FM transmitters in Asia have tested emergency warning. And uh, Pakistan has a plan of rolling out DRM on all bands. Other countries like Malaysia are interested. And if we go further afield and to the next slide, uh, we will see that Africa is very important. For us, South Africa has adopted DRM together with KB Plus and the South African uh, countries uh, below the equator, they are uh, very interested in DRM. Uh, there are transmissions from Romania received regularly in Brazil, very well. And uh, there is a big megawatt uh, medium wave transmitter in the small country of Hungary, but also a short wave trial on DRM for covering the capital. And uh, if you want to learn much more about the countries and the trials done, including the ones in Brazil, we have a link here. But let's uh, go back to Brazil, one of the key countries of the BRICS, what we call the BRICS countries. Uh, we know Brazil has been interested in DRM, has tested it, and uh, EBC uh, last year even issued a tender. I think uh, the tender and the trial on a shortwave DRM have been important steps. We hope they will be followed. And uh, we know that the trial that uh, finished in uh, 2021 at the beginning of the year uh, has produced a report, maybe this was presented. I have simply lifted the conclusion in Portuguese of the report, as this trial was just the first phase and we are expecting a second phase. Interesting that a transmitter from Brazil was used. So Brazil has technical experience, has a lot of uh, expertise and uh, possibilities. Um, so uh, we are hopeful of the national production of transmitters. We hope that transmitters will be installed. We'll see what happens with EBC. And we also think that there is a possibility of importation of receivers, but also manufacturing them uh, locally. A suggestion we have to make, considering the three channels, services that are offered on one single frequency, is to use one such channel or service uh, to create a DRM, a national DRM channel for public information uh, that comes uh, from the presidency, government, parliament, other organizations, uh, information that is so necessary, especially now in COVID times. We would like to raise awareness about DRM also among commercial broadcasters, and we hope that will help with that. We think Brazil is fully uh, prepared and ready for uh, rolling out uh, DRM. And we are waiting for that uh, date and ready to help. Okay, 
So what have we been doing? What are the new extra uh, services that uh, come through DRM to meet the need of the people and the need of 2021, not of 2001? Last but not least, let's see what's been happening about receivers. And a lot has been happening. So first of all, it's the car industry rollout in India. Three million cars with line fit DRM receivers, as you heard, and uh, the chipsets exist to support all standards. And uh, these DRM receivers in the cars are available without uh, the customer, the buyer paying for it. You see here some uh, well-known brands in India, but across the world. And I will point uh, Mercedes-Benz. Of course, not everyone has uh, such a car, but uh, they have confidence in DRM and they have included uh, lately, very recently, DRM. And uh, there are car stereo um, car uh, receivers. So there are car stereo receivers and aftermarket uh, solutions. They come from Gospel, a Chinese uh, company, which I think has a representative and in Brazil. And there is also a very simple um, car box, tuk-tuk, we call it tuk-tuk, very, very simple radio coming from a company in Germany, Switzerland, called Starways. So uh, there are solutions for cars and there are also solutions for standard mostly think of these. So at the moment, there are solutions from China, Germany, India, South Korea, and UK. You see here various models from Gospel, most of them, uh, but also Star Waves, the red one, uh, Intot, an Indian uh, manufacturer. And all these companies are ready to cooperate and to produce locally. So if they could find a, a partner in Brazil, you would get it there. The most exciting thing that has happened in the past few months is the fact that um, there is an app uh, which you can get from Google or Amazon, look at the blue box, and uh, through a dongle, you will be able to get DRM on your Android phone. So uh, it is an application, uh, it is a solution that supports both AM and FM. Uh, very uh, sophisticated. Uh, all the services that Alex was mentioning, Journaline and so on, are available through these solutions. So you can buy this, you can have it. So good, good news. Um, companies continue to work on DRM solutions. Uh, this is one of them. I just give you an example. And they want a very uh, simple, effective and cheap solution and uh, they are thinking uh, of a bill of materials of around $20, obviously more when you make it into a receiver and distribute it. But uh, we are all waiting to see it at IBC, uh, the big fair in Amsterdam in 2021 20, December. If you want more on receivers, we have a leaflet on drm.org. And if you want to find out more about DRM in general, you can also go to our uh, handbook updated version 5 please go to version 5 if you want to be in touch with us uh, get news uh, first of all subscribe for free to the newsletter uh, visit uh, dedicated pages uh, like the energy calculator india and please write to us project officer drm.org will get us 24 hours a day and with this we can only say thank you in english obrigado in Portuguese, Brazilian. Thank you very much. Obrigado, Ruth Sandra. E no próximo segmento, o Alexander irá nos mostrar a aplicação do DRM com ensino à distância.